By now, you all have probably heard that we have resurrected the dire wolf from extinction. Is that true? I really wish that I could tell you it was, but this isn't just inaccurate, it's lazy. They actually could have done a better job with technology that exists now. The dire wolf was a fairly large wolf that existed in the Americas and went extinct roughly 10,000 years ago. The information that we have on them about what they looked like and what their genetics was is based not just in fossils, but also very rare mummies that we also find. What this group did to bring back the dire wolf involved taking the physical evidence that we have from the fossils and mummies that we have along with some of the genetic. We at least have some belief that they were white. We do not know that for sure. Now, dire wolves are 98 some percent similar to gray wolves, so they decided to use a gray wolf base to make them. Mind you, we're about as similar as chimpanzees. They did take existing genes that we find in canids for large body size, muscular jaw structures, and white fur, and spliced it into plain old gray wolves. The result is kind of a lazy version of what was done with quaggas, which were a subspecies of zebra. The red pelted variety did go extinct as a result of hunting, and they were brought back with selective breeding. But it's lazy for another reason. You see, we actually have the genome of dire wolves from those mummies. Granted, it does require a hell of a lot of assembling, and we can borrow genes from gray wolves, assuming that they should be the same ones. I mean, they should be. They didn't clone animals that previously existed with assembled genomes. No, they took gray wolves and spliced in what they thought would result in something that resembled a dire wolf. Now, don't get me wrong. This is resurrection science, a variety where we try to take animals that have previously been extinct and bring them into modern times. However, even if they did clone an actual dire wolf and didn't just assemble what really is essentially a dog that just looks more similar to a dire wolf, that does not fulfill the requirements to make something unextinct. We have many animals on this planet that still walk it but are functionally extinct because they do not have enough genetic diversity to establish a permanent population, nor do we even have the land for dire wolves to live on. What they have created is quite essentially a novelty. Something that might end up in a zoo. Look, here's our de-extinct dire wolf. What they've really created is a gray wolf that's kind of mutated, that lacks the space and requirements that it would need to live a happy and fulfilling life. I know talking about animals as being fulfilled is a little bit anthropomorphic, but it's serious. When we have things like chimpanzees in zoos living in a cage, it's really not ethical. It's not how they were designed to live, and I think if you asked them, they wouldn't want to live that life either. So did humanity bring the dire wolf back from extinction? Unfortunately, no. And I really wish that wasn't the case, but we didn't. It's being reported incorrectly.